In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix TPM 2.0 and secure boot issues when launching Valorant. This is something I recently encountered and after some troubleshooting, I was able to resolve it with a few steps. So let's get right into it with step one. The first thing you need to do is update your motherboard drivers, also known as BIOS. Updating your BIOS can unlock the ability to enable 2.0 TPM and secure boot. To update your motherboard, you'll first need to find out your motherboard model. To do so, press the window key on your computer and type system information. From there, look for baseboard product, which would be your motherboard. Once you know that, head over to Google and search for your motherboard's drivers. I'll show you an example. So if I take my motherboard and go on Google and search up my motherboard drivers, the first result is the official MSI website for the latest drivers and then look for the latest software version for my motherboard. Once you find the most recent driver for your motherboard, you will need to download your drivers onto an external hard drive. I would recommend using a USB drive and download the drivers directly onto it. After downloading the drivers, we're ready to update the BIOS. To do this, you'll need to restart your computer. When your PC starts up, hit the key that takes you to your BIOS menu. Each motherboard has a different key, but it's usually one of the following F1, F2, F10, Delete, or Escape. For me, it would be F10. Once in your BIOS, you'll follow the instructions on your motherboard's website or documentation to update your motherboard drivers. If you're having trouble, there should be plenty of online tutorials that can help you update the BIOS for your specific motherboard. After successfully updating your BIOS, if your motherboard is compatible with 2.0 TPM, you should now be able to enable 2.0 TPM and secure boot. To do this, go back into your BIOS settings and look for the secure boot option. You can usually find it under the boot option. If you're using an MSI motherboard like me, you can go at the magnifying glasses and quickly search for secure boot. Once you find secure boot, enable it, save your changes and exit the BIOS. Next, we're going to open the local group policy editor. To do so, press Windows plus R or simply search for run. Type gpedit.msc and hit enter. Once open, go to computer configuration, then administrative templates, and then Windows components. From there, find BitLocker drive encryption, then go to operating system drives and look for require additional authentication at startup. Enable this option and allow TPM drivers to function properly. Once that's done, you can close the window and go back to run. This time we'll type tpm.msc and hit enter. If everything is set up correctly, your TPM status should say TPM is ready for use. This means you successfully enabled 2.0 TPM and should now be able to launch Valorant without any issues. For anyone still having trouble with 2.0 TPM after following these steps, I'll link an official Riot Games forum in the descriptions for those who may not have the required hardware for 2.0 TPM. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Your feedback helps me know if these steps work for you and it really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.